meaning I'm saturating that paper with a lot of water. So once I come in with the watercolor here, uh, it's going to bleed uh, ever so slightly, uh, you know, depending on how much water you have on that paper. All right, guys, today I'm going to give you three tips on how to use watercolor uh, more effectively um, and kind of understand what's going on. So we're going to do uh, one sample on dry paper. This is on, a, uh, I believe, a cold press watercolor paper. And we're just going to do uh, get the watercolor and put it on the dry watercolor paper. And we're going to show you what that looks like. Now you see how when I'm putting down that color, uh, it has those hard edges. And whenever you stop, see at the, the edge of those, it's going to it's going to keep those hard hard edges those sharp edges now what i'm doing here is i'm waterlogging the paper uh, meaning i'm saturating that paper with a lot of water so once i come in with the watercolor here uh, it's going to bleed uh, ever so slightly uh, you know depending on how much water you have on that paper um, but it's going to give you a smooth gradation see how there's no rough edges even on the edges of this square right here there are no rough edges it will kind of blend and even if you want to go over it with watercolor it'll blend um, much easier and so now you see the difference on dry paper and on wet paper which one looks like a smoother gradation to you now to add sharp details you're gonna to want to wait for the paper to dry if you want to add a darker value or if you want to add detail you have to wait for that watercolor to dry but if you want just maybe to add value, but you want a soft edge, you're gonna want it to, we're gonna wanna do it while it's still wet. See how it gives that soft edge? So there's a difference between the dry paper and the wet paper. Now right here is, we're gonna be using a liquid frisket or a masking fluid or um, uh, Arabic gum, uh, they call it. You can get that at most art stores, if not all. We're just applying it right here, doing something very basic. And these are just very thin layers, guys. Now we're gonna add on some uh, watercolor. And this is just uh, watercolor on dry paper. Um, and we're gonna show you what this is gonna look like. And you can really saturate this, like nothing's gonna get through that uh, frisket. So I just wanted, I wanted to have some uh, sound so you can hear that kind of got have to put some pressure on it look at that so clean i i just uh did that you know halfway so you can be much neater with it and here it is that the pbo I believe is how you say it the drawing gum or liquid frisket or a masking fluid you can get that at any art store. That's very useful if you don't want to mark the paper, if you want to uh, keep it clean. And there's the gum Arabic right there. You can also get that in most art stores. All right, it was just a short one. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more art tutorials, go ahead and follow me. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.